Class 2A immediately following that game. Westview taking on Oak Hill to earn a ticket to the title bout. The Warriors come out firing Charlie Yoder. Corner 3 nothing, but nylon for the sophomore. This thing was a frantic pace on fast forward all game long. Spencer Ballinger on the inside for Oak Hill. But Elijah Hales, you might as well call him Jimmy Chitwood. So fundamental, so good. No picket fence though. And one for Westview Warriors trail at the half though, 30-28. The Golden Eagles, they assert their will to start the second. David, Aarons, and then you'll see Caleb Middlesworth in the middle for Oak Hill. No call, good call, and the hoop. The lead grows. Westview, they're up for the challenge, though. Hales here on the other end on the wing. Shake and bake for him. He had 31 for the junior. Cuts the advantage to us. 66-64 with less than a minute to play but they get no closer. Oak Hill, they make their free throws, and Westview runs out of time on the clock to come back. The Golden Eagles advance past this young Warrior squad, 70-64, that final. Got to make shots, and um, I thought our kids played super hard. We didn't stop them very good inside. That's, that's a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, they just played well. They made their shots. They made their plays. They had to make the win. Unfortunately for our guys, we came a couple plays short. Into their practices or locker rooms, you would say, boy, teams like that, they shouldn't lose. But uh, unfortunately, sometimes you do. No state title for the Warriors this year. They finished the year 28-2, and and they return a majority of their starting lineup next year.